Let's install a custom ROM! What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Android Revolution HD onto your AT&T HTC One. So the first thing you're going to want to do is of course make sure you are rooted and you're going to want to reboot into recovery. So if you don't have the option to reboot into recovery, just go ahead and power off your phone. Press and hold the volume down key and the power key. Alright, and this will boot you into your bootloader. So what you're going to want to do is use the volume down key to highlight recovery and then go ahead and press power. So once you are in Torp Recovery, just go ahead and go to install. And we're going to go to our downloads folder because that's where I downloaded this ROM of course. And we're going to look for Android Revolution HD. So once we know that's the zip we are flashing, go ahead and swipe to flash. And this will open up an Aroma Base installer. So what you're going to do is the developer has said to use the volume keys and the power button. Do not touch it because it will freeze. So what we are going to do is use the power button to select and the volume rockers to go ahead and you know move the selection. So press power to hit next and hit power or hit volume up to you highlight the I accept hit power then go back down with volume down. Now I'm not sure why they choose to use the aroma solar when you can't really use it but I mean it works I guess press power for next and I'm going to install this with wiping because I was on CyanogenMod 10.1 so I'm gonna go down to wipe so like that hit next and what is your device we are the go up we are the North American because this is the AT&T variant now you can install this on other you know HTC ones of course but we're gonna hit next and this lets us in install what Google applications do we want. So if we want Chrome, Google Maps, and Street. So just go ahead and use volume up again. Don't really want Google Maps and Street. I have it blacked out in Google Plus. So I don't really need that. I don't know what Google Talkback is. So we'll install it anyways. <laughs> Next. And this is asking us what custom apps do we want to install. So again, just use volume up to go out to the box. And you can select any of these applications that you want. I have a blacked out Dropbox, I have the updated ES File Explorer, I do have the blacked out Facebook, we need Adobe Flash Player, I don't really want the Maxathon browser, we don't want to, well I don't want Adobe Reader, and I have a blacked out version of Twitter. So I don't really want any of these, so I'm just going to hit next. And this is asking us the tweaks that we want. So again, use volume up, we want the improve. I don't really use the virtual private network at all, so I'm just going to avoid that. I'm going to add these tweaks, because who doesn't want tweaks, right? And then we want the ads remover, so we don't have those buggy ads like in YouTube and other applications like that. So we're going to hit next. And this asks us what other enhancements do we want. So volume wake is when you press the volume keys to wake up your device. Advanced power menu allows the reboot recovery, reboot bootloader, everything like that. So I'm going to hit yes. I do want the battery percentage icon because I like to know what the exact percentage of my you know battery is. Pure X audio, disable menu soft key. I hate that menu button, so yes. And then install the exposed framework and app exposed mods. So yes, because you can do tons. I will have a later video on that of course, but you can do tons of stuff with the exposed mods. So I'm gonna hit next. And we are as on, so I'm just gonna hit next. Now I do have the HTC dumb lock installed, so we should be good to go. Hit install now. And we are installing. So this doesn't take very long at all to install. Alright guys, and that is done installing, so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and hit next. And we are going to want to hit next again. Power button is a little bit hard to press. Swipe to unlock I guess, and reboot system. Alright, and the phone is booted up, so let's go ahead and unlock it, and you will get the startup screen, of course. So let's go ahead and bypass all this, go ahead and start. Alright, so I connected to my Wi-Fi, go ahead and next. Connecting to HTC, set up from scratch, transfer or import. I have titanium backup, so I'm going to set up from scratch. 
skip. And for account and sync, let me go ahead and sign into my Google. All right, and I went ahead and signed in, so I'm not going to restore because I have titanium backup, like I said. So I'm going to hit next, collect anonymous data, and not really use my location. That's fine. Disable yes. Select time and date. We are Eastern, so I'll select Eastern. Hit next. It's in military time. Give a name to your phone, Bob. All right, and we are loading up with Blink Feed, which I will set up later. Let's just go to this blank home screen, go into the apps. Now this phone comes pretty much de-bloated, so you don't have to worry about anything. So as you see right here, we just have pretty much the stock Google and the stock HTC stuff, except for our exposed installer, of course. But let's go ahead and go into settings. And if we go down to about phone, go to software information. You see we are running on Android 4.1.2, of course, because that's what this phone is shipped with and since 5. Let's go ahead and go back. Go back again. And you notice you don't have the AT&T activation or software update or anything like that. So you don't have any carrier type of anything at all. That is all gone. So this is pretty much a stock, how the stock international one comes. And that's personally how I like my devices. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.